Alright guys, so it's blowing like 20 knots out of the south. Um, I was originally planning on not fishing today. I'm going to hit a couple of docks nearby the house. Uh, see if we can catch dinner. I really would like to get a speckled trout. Maybe we'll do a sheep's head. But anyway, uh, I'm just one rod, some gulps, some soft plastics. Um, I don't even think I'm going to bring the fish finder. I really don't need it. I'm just going to do some inlet jigging and let's see what we catch, right? Oh, all right. Uh, I'm going to put him back. Uh oh, see ya. Looking for that speckled trout. So the rod and reel combo that I've been using, that's a Daiwa Fuego 3000, and the rod is a dark matter rod that's available from jnh.com. You can find information about this combo in the description below. Oh, we got that. Whatever that is, we got him. Ooh. Is that a pompano? I mean, uh, permit again? Maybe it's a jack. Snuck. Snuck. Cool catch. Looking a little washed out there, buddy. You need to find some warmer water. A uh, little, what is that? I have no idea what that is. I have no clue what this fish is. It looks like, I don't know. No idea. I think that's that silver jenny, what they call them. It's in that family. We're gonna put him back. I really don't know what he is. Looks cool though. Oh, Fugu. <laughs> These things are supposed to be really good to eat. Is he gonna pop? How much more can he go? <laughs> I haven't caught one of these in so long. Alright, we're gonna keep the fugu. That's what we're gonna keep. Get him on ice. We'll fry him up in some butter. Let's see how he is. So this really wasn't a trip that I could get a whole lot done. The wind was really strong from the get-go, blowing about 20 knots. Um, there was a big squall coming in mid-morning into the afternoon, and we we're supposed to get a lot of rain. So. Made the most of it and uh, packed it up pretty quick from here. Uh, caught a couple fish real quick and uh, it's time to go. All right guys, so I'm gonna tell you the truth. I've actually never eaten one of these things before. All I know is that this particular species of puffer or blowfish is not poisonous. It had to be the Simpsons years back in the 90s that made this whole thing explode. Um, but, uh, <laughs> and just like everyone thinking they're all poisonous. And then I'm gonna grab a bag of chips from the grocery store uh, fry them up. And it's kind of like a lunch. I mean, I wish I got two, but you know, one's gonna do. I never tried them before, so I'm more curious to see how they are, and you know, let's see how this goes. 
All right, so based on what I saw, feels like the meat is right about starting right there. All right, yeah, that seems about right. So we're gonna... Almost had it. Oh, just need the, the pliers for the initial grip. And uh, yeah, basically done. This will go in a Ziploc bag. This will feed to the birds. That was easy. Yeah, I'm gonna trimmed off any of the, the flaps here. And you're left with basically a giant drumstick, man. All right, so um, oh, let me trim that off too. All right, I'm gonna put this in a Ziploc bag, beach dry. I'm gonna give it a quick rinse before cooking, and we're good. Okay, so, um, you know, this isn't gonna be complicated. All right, so this looks like a, it actually feels and looks like a real chicken drumstick. <laughs> I guess now I understand why it got called that. That's its nickname. So just some flour, right? And I'm just gonna fry it, honestly. That's all I'm gonna do, flour, fry, I got a, some lemon, and I bought some chips. So basically, you know, basic street fair food. So uh, yeah. All right, our oil's starting to smoke a little bit. All right, we're gonna cook it on high heat. We're gonna give it about four minutes aside, and then take it from there. All right, we got our nice golden brown colors coming through. All right, we're all done here. All right, there it is. Fried up blowfish. Nice nice finish on it. And uh, some chips and lemon. Let me give it a try, it looks good. I didn't smell, looked really good. So let's give it a taste. All right, here I go. I'm gonna bite into it like a drumstick. That's the most chicken tasting fish I've ever had in my life. That is most certainly a winner. That is one of the best fried fish I've ever had in my life. All right guys, there you have it. That's um, blowfish, a truly divine seafood experience. That was my first time having it. It blows away all of my expectations. It was easy to do. Tasted great. Uh, yeah. And probably can be prepared countless ways. That was very easy to clean. It cooks very easily. Can probably be prepared any way you want it. All right, guys. So there's a lot of fish that have like a cult following to them. Like, I'll give you the, the, the main example I think of is herring all the time, right? Pickled herring, fried herring, which is good. The following this has, yeah, they are 100% right. It's one of the tastiest fish I've ever had. It's easy to clean. It wins in every book. Um, there is nothing, there is no downside to this fish that I could think of. Except that it's poisonous. I know the northern one, and this is the gulf one. They're awesome. So guys, if you like the video, leave it a thumbs up. Uh, I have more catching cooks coming. Um, this was a fun one. This one was surprising. I probably would have never kept this on my own. If I wasn't doing this, you know, this YouTube stuff. Um, I also don't catch too many, but, you know, if I could get like a dozen of these, man. That's some good eats right there. It really is. It's better than majority of fish I've had. Um, yeah, that's really good stuff. I got all the information about this video in the description below. Uh, where I'm staying, um, the sponsors for this trip, etc. Um, so... Thanks again to everybody. Um, hope you found that. Besides, somewhat educational, you found it entertaining too. I did. I thought it was good. Um, I learn a lot with these catch and cooks sometimes as I'm putting out information and learning stuff as I go. So, 
Uh, catch up with you very soon.